Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of software engineering where I will discuss about the concept of black box testing in detail. When we talk about the black box testing, as I told you in my, lecture, in my last lecture, that in black box testing, we simply require input as the SRS document and what output we have to produce. Considering all these two points, we basically focus over uh, certain types of the not uh, certain types of the functional requirements, which is basic, which are basically required to build a software. So, hence, when we talk about the black box test testing, we basically consider. input requirements or you can say client requirement in the form of SRS document as input and try to produce and uh, we make verification whether we are able to produce that uh, the output as per the requirement fine so we sometimes make use of the term verification which simply means are we developing the product right or not so when we talk about the black box testing when we consider all these things we simply mean that we focuses over functional requirements to achieve testing or we simply say we focus this over functional components to test upon hence black box testing is also known as functional testing and in functional testing, we have various kind of the testing available. These are unit testing, integration testing, system testing, regression testing, And finally, acceptance testing. Fine. So, let us talk about all this testing in details. When we talk about unit testing, unit testing is all in, uh, is basic. Let us, uh, uh, so uh, I simply wrap this thing to explain all these things in details. When we talk about unit testing, unit testing basically involves testing the individual units or components of software. So this is basically performed by developer. This is basically performed by developer before handling the system to the software tester fine so this is basically performed by the developer before handling the software to the tester and the limitation of this testing is basically that we have limited amount of test data or you can say data to be tested fine so this is uh, an important point about the unit testing that it is basically performed by the developer itself before handing it to the tester fine so 
After unit testing, we move to the integration testing. Integration testing basically involves integrating or combining the units of software and then perform testing over the combined units so that we can detect what kind of the errors has taken when the software is taken uh, as a single unit fine and there are various kind of the integration testing are there we will discuss in our next lecture uh, in, in not ne next lecture but in our coming lectures in integration testing basically there are two, there are two kinds of integration testings are there One is a bottom up testing, bottom up integration testing, and another is known as top down integration testing. So, always remember that bottom up testing is always performed first before the top down testing when we talk about integration testing. We will discuss about the other black box testing in our next lecture.